Wow, it is crappy out. What's up, you guys? It's uh, We're doing London to Toronto today on account of the weather's trash. The parking brake is on. Number five. Ah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just go to... Uh, Let's go to uh, Toronto, and then we will hack it south and then east in, and I don't know. See which one we hit first, Watkins Glen or Pocono uh, Raceway. Ah, oh, that's a lot of wind. Let's just take off. Yep, nothing screwed. We're good. It's a little wet. I really don't think the pito heat is necessary, but... Uh, Let's turn it on anyways. Could be worse. Could be more consuming things on the electrical system. Whew, it is messy out there. I'm a little surprised it's snowing over this area. Well, I reckon I shouldn't be surprised that's snowing over this area. Uh, in the Pennsylvania area, it's like 50 degrees and raining despite being February. Most mild winter ever. Actually, the last four weather winters have been decidedly mild compared to what people have said, and I honestly, like, whew. Uh, I was expecting more snow, man. I wanted to play. Alas, that is not the case. And I got other crap I want to get done today, so uh, onward and eastward for we'll add 85 miles to our belt today. And yeah, how about that gross, gross weather? Um, yeah, of the mind to just climb above it here. Let's pop it over to autopilot. Uh, center altitude to 5,000 first time around. Let's climb it 12, huh? Let's climb it just 1,000. I know it can do it, but... It looks weird when I'm stalling out all the time. I'm still figuring out the dead zone on the controller too. It kind of has a little bit of stick and jump when you first start giving it a... <clears throat> when you first break the tension that holds it in neutral on the yoke. So that might be some product feedback. It doesn't exactly smoothly go from uh, pitch down to pitch up. But it rests in neutral just fine, so that's exceedingly useful. <laughs> Feels like there's a little too much resistance before it finally starts moving though. Five thousand feet, still trash. Seven thousand feet, let's see what we look like. I think we're gonna make it on through. I should turn off all these little gauges. I seldomly use them for things that can't just be visually ascertained. <laughs> Are my gear down? Are my flaps down? How much am I getting kicked around by the weather? Which, in this case, surprisingly not much. What we got for... Oh, we got a wind going right across the beam. Okay, so... Take your bets. We're three nautical miles off course. 100 nautical miles equals one nautical mile off course uh, for each 
degree removed. So we want to go to place your bets. Oop. I'm going to say 78 degrees. Oh, f well, now it's a 40 knot tailwind. Uh, <laughs> uh, really going 80 miles. Yeah, I'm going to say we. I'm going to say 78. Final answer, Regis. What I means we have a 40 knot tailwind? We're doing a buck 48. And our total airspeed is 164. So we're really getting like 18 knots off of that tailwind. I have no idea what that means. That could be a testament to efficiency. That could be... <laughs> it occurs to me. If you're flying west to east, like, you kind of want a little bit of, like... I don't know. Ability to capitalize on that tailwind, but I don't see how you would... No, that's bullshit. Don't listen to that. <laughs> that's crap. There's a reason raindrops are shaped the way they are. Speaking of raindrops... Also 7,000 feet, still no daylight. Let's take it up to 10,000 feet. Throttle back here as really having no trouble uh, <laughs> keeping it going. Actually, you know what? Let's go. Let's see how fast it'll go. We're already flying around and weather this plane probably shouldn't be in. I feel like that fuselage looks like Airwolf, <clears throat> which is some matter of Bell Helicopter, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Passing 8,000. Oh, oh, oh. It's getting, it was getting brighter for a second there. So the, uh, Encoder is running a lot better and consuming less CPU than it was last time. And checking out the replay, it really didn't look that bad, and the audio didn't sound horrible. <laughs> Apart from what you sound like on your own already, Slinger. Uh, yeah. I had to go to a doctor's appointment yesterday. It was a. Uh, this isn't an overshare, I'm not going to details, but uh, for a uh, dermatologist appointment, a uh, regular melanoma screening, um, they were talking to me about, like, now you want to make sure you're wearing sunscreen, like, all the time, like, just because it's cloudy doesn't, and I started laughing, and one of, like, the first things they taught me, or they, one of the first things in the book on climatology was, like, so, when it's cloudy... <laughs> Sunlight comes in, bounces around, does not leave. You actually get a lot more radiation. Um, they were pretty impressed when I uh, whipped out that wisdom on them. Kind of tripped out when I told them I'd done, like, the most medical stuff I've gotten in the last 20 years was largely acupuncture. Which, it's... It's not a cure-all for everything, but it's definitely helped maintain um, on the way, you know.
10,000 feet. I'm not sure where I left off on that one. Alright, we're at 10,000 feet. Ah. There's still very little to see, and with the throttle to the stops, it's still only doing... But now we got a total airspeed of 187. The actual read on the speedo is 165, though. And I'm assuming that yellow thing is, uh, might be <laughs> overspeeding the engine. I'll look this up <laughs> in between this and the next one. I'm curious. But I'm trying to figure out if it's over overspeeding the engine or, like, you're going to experience frame damage and fatigue or... I don't know what it does. It's yellow. It looks like it wants to caution me against something, but I don't know what it's cautioning me, cautioning me against. 195 total airspeed. Ooh. Well, let's go up to 1,200 feet and see if we can hit 200 knots across the ground. Just book it up and flatten out. It's gonna be a long descent into Toronto for all this climbing. And by long descent, I mean it's gonna be a long time with the throttle at zero and full flap spinning downwards. I don't know if it's a thing, but playing around with the turbo props, I noticed that it feels like you can actually get a degree of slowing down, well, a degree of aero braking done by, you know, almost feathering your propellers. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out which direction it is. like. I was messing around with it because I figured like if you cut your throttle slower and you increase the deflection, you'd have more air hitting the propeller flat on, which means it wouldn't. You'd actually be using the, <laughs> you'd be doing some like engine braking with the propellers. I'm not sure if that's a thing. If anyone sees this and hears this, like, and knows about it, that'd be kind of cool to find out. Or I suppose I could just screw around more. I mean, I'm gonna do that anyways. Coming up on 12, still no daylight. Almost saw a little of it. All right, Mr. Sulu, give us 1,500 feet. 15,000 feet, oh my god, have I been saying 1,200? I noticed the other day I was talking to myself and calling it driving instead of flying. I've read Tom Clancy books where they talk about, you know, helming submarines and stuff like that as being a submarine driver, but it's hardly a submarine. Same fluid environment, just less dense. So, I'm going to say right now, with 41 miles to go, our deviation is under a knot, and our 40-knot tailwind is now blowing 
easterly across our course. Hmm. I can see it still happening. I can see us going right over it, but I feel like we're gonna get it blown south by like a skosh. Obviously, we're not gonna. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna see the ground. Nope. I can tell the sun is that direction. <laughs> I assure you it's not going to come out that I was fooling you when I was playing it around in an editor the whole time. That's a shenanigan for, like, April Fool's Day. But then I'd still have to do the flight. So I'd just be doing it twice. <laughs> little lakes and ponds down there, huh? I wonder what the rivers are like. You never really hear... Well, I have not heard much about Canadian rivers. It was, uh... It's always been, like, the Mississippi... If you live in... If you live near the northeastern United States, you'll hear about, like, the Ohio rivers and the Pittsburgh rivers and the Hudson. And, uh, but, uh... The Mississippi. That's like the river everyone knows in the area. If you go in the west, you'll hear about like the Snake and the Columbia. If you go to the southwest, you'll hear about the uh, the Rio Grande. I'm pausing to think. I'm pretty sure the Rio Grande is the one that originates in Lake Mead, cuts down south through uh, it's like the Arizona-Nevada border. I don't think it is. I think that's incorrect. I think I'm throwing myself, even though I live there. Because the Rio Grande is the border that, uh, it's a river borders Texas and Mexico on the southern end. Doop, doop, doop. I'll tell you this, it's a crappy internet day, too. I'm glad the live weather is, well, it's live weather. Oh, negative 10 degrees C. That's no good. That's probably why we're slowing down. So, like, does the de-ice light not turn on? That's the second time I've almost gotten myself screwed over because of the freaking ice. I totally thought there was going to be an indicator for it other than, like, hey, your de-icing system is on. Absolutely. Uh, but no. <laughs> hey, your, uh, your airspeed is dropping dangerously low. <laughs> Something might be wrong. Oh. Guess I'll turn on the de-ice system. It was kind of funny how the plane lurched the second you turned it on. I wonder if that's like the immediacy of the uh, DI system kicking itself on. I'm gonna say no though, because the throttle shouldn't be like full stop, so I should only be doing like 136. Fourteen thousand feet. Still, 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 still. No, uh, 
the sign of daylight. We got ominous wind and uh, not a whole lot of anything else. 20,000 feet. I sort of know it can be done because I did it over Everest, but I... Oh, yep, look. See, we're already... We're south of where we're supposed to be. And 22 miles out. Ew. That happened rather quick. Let's cut it by two degrees and go back the other direction. I'm assuming the accumulations on the engine cowling are not going to go away. I wouldn't expect them to if it keeps like getting new material deposited and there's not like a heater directly underneath the entire surface. But if we can clear the friggin' clouds, we can stop picking up moisture. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really not liking this climb. I'm still getting blown cross track too. Well, we knew this was going to be an interesting one. We're almost there to land. There's not a whole lot we can do. Oh, I was gonna. They're slowing down way too much. And I'm gonna say we are accumulating, despite de icing. <laughs> accumulating a lot of uh, rhyme ice. It is negative 19 C out. Uh, uh. We might bail on this climb. Nah, we got we have just. I think the plane has enough to make it. This is one of those that's going to get us close enough to see the peak of Everest. Maybe not shoot the peaks. We'll have to see how fast we can get going, what angle we can have. Uh, yeah, it performed better at 18,000 and above last time I flew it. Uh, not great. It does not like staying in the air at 20,000 feet, but it can be done. Uh, 10 miles, 18,000 feet, still no daylight. That's, jeez. Cloud layer is pretty much 16,000 feet thick. It's a lot of clouds, eh, matey? And we are still getting blown. Oh, yeah, because I didn't change course. Ah, uh, you know...
Yeah. We hit 20,000, we're bailing on it. Yeah, I'm going to try and speed up a little bit now. Like, let's make our vertical speed 200 feet a minute until we speed up. Well, that's a fine how do you do. I don't want to screw myself. What does ignore? Ah. Enable ignoring weather at this airport. Slinger, tree, Alpha 7, Mike Tree, 5 miles southwest flight level, 1, 9, or 5 to land. Slinger, tree, Alpha 7, Mike Tree, tower. Altimeter, 2, 9, or decimal, 8, 5, wind, 0, 7, 0, at 2, 0. Make straight in runway, 0, 8. Straight in? Oh. Fly straight in runway, 0, 8, Slinger, tree, Alpha 7, Mike Tree. Alright, we are not speeding up very much. Twenty forty. <laughs> Let's. We're just gonna go up and touch it real quick. If it can do it, come on! Don't stop on me, buddy. A little bit of porpoising. Get some speed back. Not really any to speak of. Ah, oh, come on. But there's there's enough stuff to push off of to get that extra hundred feet. Come on, come on, come on. Da ding da 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 It's still gray outside. Oh well, screw it. Nah, we need <laughs> way less throttle than that. This should be an exciting landing. We're decelerating as we're descending with the tailwind. That's something. Wager this may slow us down even more. Especially if we do it like that. Did I turn autopilot off? I think it did. I hope it did. Nope. There we go. Oh, now autopilot's off. Spouse so need hold, flight director off. There we go. There we go. 
There's an airport. I'm pretty sure that's not where we're going. There it is. I reckon if you had people on board, they'd probably trip over this. They would not be uh, comfortable flying with you ever again. I thought I turned off all these markers. What the hell's going on here? There's a lot of wind. Oop, that was a gust. One more turn and we'll be uh, able to come on straight in there, or at least level off like 5,000 feet. A lot of ice. Oh, that's 25 degrees. That's really fast. Let's not drop down that quick. crazy to see a bright spot when you're like, yeah, we dropped down 10,000 feet, 14,000 feet. Ah. Uh, I can afford to run better clouds. It'll be beautiful. Er. <laughs> it's, again, it's still way, way, way cooler <laughs> than... No, it's, it's just as cool now as, like, the, the old stuff was when it first came out. It's a great feeling. There we go. I don't know what runway they want me to land on, but I'm coming in on this one, this left beam right here. But seriously, how bad could it be to have all the markers on for, uh, <laughs> for landmarks? And yeah, no, it's not good. Let's turn this thing down, too. Jeez almighty. No. Oh, I shouldn't be flying, like, hauling that much ass with flaps, either. Headwind's down. Well, now it's now it's a headwind, but uh, it's down to 16 knots. I think it peaked out at like 56, which means we were doing like 50 knots and like 200 feet, and it was pushing us. Which makes sense when you're traveling faster than the air. When you're traveling slower than the air, I suppose faster than it. Uh, 
I'm way too low, I can't see this runway. Ooh, I can see the water, I can see something underneath me. It's like playing Sea of Thieves, man. The scariest part of that game is when you're like out in the water and you can't see underneath you. Where's this runway? Oof. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay, that was some Tokyo Drift shit right there. Um, <laughs> really slipped right away the second we turned up and into it. All right. Uh, knew it was going to be exciting. Which way is the weather going now? It's going that way. So I'm going to turn left and come straight in that way. It looks like there's all sorts of little boats in that marina just getting rocked around. Quick check for, uh... Thank you, ma'am. Clear to land runway 08 Slinger Tree Alpha 7 Mike Tree. We can turn it around real quick. Yeah, this seems like something that somebody with like common sense that uh, should know better than to do would would still do if they could afford to make poor decisions. I'd say we slotted in on the runway really good for however gross that approach was. IFR only. What the heck for? Come on, this isn't so bad. He said right before hitting a downdraft. Alright. All the flaps. There we go. Oh, come on! Now of all times to lag out on me. <laughs> hey, he's a row of, it's heart stopping. Heart stopping. Yeah, we're gonna pull left and uh, call this one an afternoon and. Whew. <laughs> Go get some exercise so we can support having our hearts go up like that again. Seven slinger tree alpha seven mic tree. Yeah, let's go park over that Cessna. Ah! I swear, officer, it's my cousin's car. <laughs> okay, uh, it would appear I'm getting pulled over, so I'm just gonna kill it right here. There's the pee brake. I'm probably gonna get towed, so let's shut these off. Yeah, let's just, sir, can you take the keys out of the ignition? Yes, sir. <laughs> Have a good afternoon. See you next time.